Hi, I'm Mrs. D. Math. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be covering properties of dilations in 8th grade math. A dilation is when an image enlarges or reduces size using a fixed point or a center of dilation and a scale factor k. So here we have a graph and we have our original image, our pre-image, ABC, and then we have our image, A prime, B prime, C prime. We can find the scale factor of the dilation by making a ratio of the corresponding sides. So I'm gonna find the length of two sides, and this is a right triangle, and so I'm gonna see if two side lengths have the same ratio, then this is a similar triangle. So we'll go ahead and check just two side lengths to begin with. So here on my triangle ABC, my distance from A to B is two, and my distance from B to C is three units. If I go here to my image, A prime to B prime is six units, and B prime to C prime is nine units. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a ratio, and I'm gonna have my ratio of my prime over my original. So my distance between A and B prime is six, and my distance between A and B in the original is two, and that's gonna reduce to three. Then if I find my B prime to C prime distance over my original BC distance, I have nine over three, which is also equal to three. So because these both have the same ratio, then I can assume they are similar figures, and that means that my prime triangle, my image, has dilated from my original image by a scale factor of times three. We'll look at another way that we can find our new image, but you can also see that if I start here at the origin and I draw a line through both my C's, I can do the same thing with my A's, and I could even take my B's. And if you were to imagine this being a 3D figure, you can see here that anywhere I land on these lines would end up making a similar triangle. So it doesn't stay the same by shape. The shape does enlarge or reduce according to our definition here. And so once we find that scale factor, everything is gonna enlarge or reduce by the same number. So to dilate an image, we wanna multiply the coordinates of each point by the scale factor, and then we're gonna connect the vertices. So let's go ahead and try a different way on the next one. So my next example, I have a dilation that will always enlarge or reduce, but will be similar. So you can see here that my original quadrilateral, ABCD, on the inside is smaller than ABCD prime, but it is the exact same shape. So let's see if I can figure out my scale factor based on my ordered pairs from the graph. So I'm gonna go ahead and label my original points. A is at negative two, five. B is at four, four. C is at four, negative five. And D is at negative three, negative four. Then we're gonna label our prime points. So A prime is at negative four, 10. B prime is at eight, eight. C prime is at eight, negative 10. And D prime is at negative six, negative eight. I can find each of these points on the graph very easily, but I wanna find what my dilation is. What is my scale factor? I can tell this is getting larger, which means I'm going to be increasing. If you look here between each one of these, if I look between A and A prime, B and B prime, C and C prime, D and D prime, I can find a common occurrence here. So from A to A prime, my X goes from negative two to negative four, my Y increases from five to 10. So both of those are times two. My B to B prime, both points are also times two. I'm noticing it looks like the same pattern for each one. 
So that means that my scale factor is times two. So that is my K. So that means that my X and Y original values are going to become KX, KY. So I'm gonna multiply my scale factor of two times X and times Y and that ends up increasing it times two. So now I wanna know, did the size of my quadrilateral change? And in this case, yes. If it's a dilation, your shape will always change by enlarging or reducing, but the shapes will still be similar. If we were to measure all the angles, all the angles would be equivalent or congruent, and if we measured the side lengths, they would also increase by the same scale factor of two. So they are similar, but they will always be different sizes. Thank you for joining me today for Properties of Dilations in 8th Grade Math. I'm Mrs. D. Math. Have a great day. Bye.